Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this new gigantic gift box. It is called Buzz TV XPL 3900. That's correct. This is an octa-core version of Buzz TV. So let's get it unboxed and get into it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also share this with your friends. Make sure you click the notification button. This way you're going to be notified once we have a new video out. Give us a thumbs up. This way it motivates us to bring these type of videos quickly to you. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. You can see that it's really nicely designed. It's just black on the top and in the bottom it has a really nice picture and then it gives you some information. Once we open the box itself, the unit is sitting on the top and then the components. It comes with a power adapter, which is created for Canada and United States. It is 5 volt, 3 amps. That 3 amps part of it is because it has a octa-core chipset. It's with a HDMI cable, but we have the spare ones. We're not going to open this. It also comes with a nice remote. Now this has its own reputation online. It's a really awesome remote it is made for left-handed by the way but i have to mention that this is called arq 100 they do sell this separately it has all the buttons that you need for the buzz tv xpl 3900 if you flip in the back there is two sections that you can open for the batteries itself and yes battery is included inside of the box but once you open it one part has the USB connector. This is how you're going to be able to connect this to the unit and use it. If you don't have this, you cannot use the remote itself with the box. I want to mention one more thing. If you ever came across that you had a problem with syncing and using this remote, I will leave a link in the bottom where you can see that picture for the user manual for this remote. The last part is going to be the box itself. Now this is the Buzz TV XPL 3900. This is how it looks. It's beautiful, it's gigantic by the way. So once you go to the front, it's really shiny. And once you turn it on, you're just going to see a few lights running in the front, but very dim. So this way at nighttime when the lights are off, this is not really going to bother you and also not going to shine that much of a light. But this part is really nice too. So they have a really cool design to this unit itself. And then going on the right hand side, you have two USB 2.0 ports. And then going to the back, you have two huge antennas that is created for the AC Mio Mimo Wi-Fi connection. And also you have the micro SD slot which can read up to 128 gigabyte then you do have the AV port so this we can connect it to older type of TV and the adapter is not included and also I would not recommend for you to connect this to a CRT TV or the tube TVs I would not suggest because of the quality with this unit itself also it comes with the HDMI connector which is 2.0 and you have the optical audio so you can connect it to your stereo system then you have the LAN connection which is a gigabit connection so 10 100 1000 connection on this and it works crazy good also you have the power connection this is how you're going to power it up this is 5 volt 3 amps Going on the other side of it, there's nothing there. And going to the bottom part of it is where you're going to see the four little legs that it will help you to make it really steady on the table itself. And now it's not going to move back and forth. Even if your cable is going to pull it, these would really stop it from moving. You have a little screw that you can open and there is a slot for a laptop hard drive, which is 2.5. And this unit itself can read up to two terabyte of the NTFS and also XFAT format hard drive inside of it. So if you have a hard drive, make sure it's wiped, hook it up to this, and then you will be able to format it inside of the OS itself and use it. This way you have unlimited space for your recordings if you want to do, or you want to bring your pictures, videos, and also some files that you want to share on the internal network for your other computers. This will really help you out. Let's connect this. So first, make sure you connect the HDMI cable and then connect the little USB that came with it for the ARQ100 remote and then connect your power. If you look in the front now, 
you have a little green light. So as soon as it boots in, you will get their logo and it's just all animated. Now, we're just going to wait till it goes to the main screen. Once that is done, this is the first screen you will get is the welcome screen. So we will quickly go through it to set this up. Next, we will say finish so that way we can go to the main screen. And yes, guys, I already set this up now. So let's go through and show you what is involved in this. So first thing you can see that the launcher is really nice. And every time you change an icon, the background changes, which is always going to keep you awake. And you know that everything is working perfectly. So you have their icon on the top and then you have the time on the right hand side which is not correct for me and then you have the connection if it is connected via wi-fi or lan connection i am connected wired and then in the bottom is all the shortcuts that you can create yourself or remove so if you want to remove an app like as an example i'm going to remove youtube i hold the ok button for a few seconds and i will receive this little pop-up to say yes or no at the meantime i'm just going to say no if you want to add an icon just click here and then you will be able to see the other apps that are part of this so as an example if i want to select geekbench which i already done or let's say google and hold it for a few seconds you will receive a little pop-up and you have to say yes and that way it will be added to the main screen so if you click back you will see it last one so that is how many icons you can add in the bottom of this screen so i will remove it because i don't need this in the front for now next thing i want to mention is login to your google play store so you can update all of your apps on this box so it will work really good Next thing is they do have two little icons here. One is so you can clear cache. That means any apps that are running in a background, it will be killed. But again, some resources also going to be killed. So it is a good and a bad for that to have. But again, it's really good if you have third party apps installed on your box and this way you're going to be able to close them. So that way it is not going to run in a background or cause any kind of headaches for your box. Another thing is the power button. This is really good. So if you click on it, now you can click on it. So it will go to standby. Don't use this, please. It is just going to make your box go to sleep. All of the parts will go to sleep. And when you're trying to wake it up, then some of the stuff may not really work. But on this box, it does. But I'm just saying in general for other boxes too. And go on under reboot is if your box goes really slow, click on this. This way, it is just going to turn off total box and reboot it. This way, you're going to see the animation again and comes back to the main screen. It will really help you with your box. Go next one is power off. This is awesome. Only problem is that the remote that is part of it, the IR sensor, is not going to really good communication or should I say it's not going to communicate with your box so you cannot wake it up or turn it on then you have to unplug and replug it back in in order to turn it on but the function is there all right so next thing we want to go is let's fix the screen that has the black lines around it so we will go under settings and then display and now under screen position is where you're going to be able to zoom out or zoom in so we will make it 100 this way it is fully covered on the screen and we will click back and also the screen resolution is here that you can set it up i always leave my auto detection off this way some new 4k oleds or i should mention that new tvs are just going to keep blink in and out even if you set it up on 4k 60 hertz it will still going to be keep blinking for you my capture card is 10 100 that's why you're going to see maximum 1080p 60 hertz but once you do that, then that way your TV is not going to really blink back and forth and you see black screen and coming back. This will really help you out. And let's get back out of this. The next thing I want to mention is going to the server. So don't click on it yet. Once you set up your internet and your date and time, then you can go outside and go to live TV to set that part up. And I will show you something right now, then I will cover the whole, then we will go back into live TV. So let's click on four. So once you go to it, you will see some stuff that is really mandatory for us to look for is the manufacturer, which is Buzz TV, and then go on on a brand and also says the model number right there. So if anybody wants to lie to you, you can catch them using by this app. So the hardware is AM Logic, and you are running three gigabyte of RAM, not two gig, but three gig. 
Also, you can see that the Bluetooth version on this is 4 Plus, which is 4.0. Go on under CPU itself, and you can see that they are using the Octa Core box. You can see all the cores, the ones that are working and the ones that are sleeping. And then going on the top, you can see they are using the ARM Cortex A53, which is running on 1512 megahertz. And yes, guys, they are running it on 32 bit. It is 64 bit ARM on this, but the software is running on 32 bit. Going on the display itself, the resolution right now is set up under 1080p and you can see that the GPU is Mali T820 which is a tri-core processor but again it is like 15 times faster than the Pentacore processors that were part of the S905 series. And then going in the network itself you can see that it is set up the wi-fi right now is disabled because we connected the line connection now going on the battery we don't use battery so we go under android we are running android 7.1.2 which is nougat and going down you have all the other information that you really require and you want to learn going under device this is where you're going to be able to see what type of connections you had. So remember that I showed you it had two USB 2.0 ports and you can see that the version is two. So there's number one and here's the second one. It is going to be able to read. The first one is about 12 megabits per second. And if you look on the second one, it is says 480 megabits per second. Going down, yes, you have a connection for your SATA. So this we can connect a hard drive in the bottom. So that one also set up there too. But if you look down, there's another one. I believe this is the one that is going to run your hard drive. And you can see the current speed is set up under 5000 megabits per second. We will go to terminal and this is you're going to be able to see the how hot the CPU will get and also the sensors is not set up. So we will get out of this app. This is a really good app. The next thing we want to go through is Geekbench. Now we have already processed some benchmarking on this and on the single core we received 520 and then multi-core we received 2493. The next thing we have done is root checker. Now root checker will allow you to see if you have full root access. In this case we do and some boxes does not give you that access but this one does so that means you can take advantage of this box a lot bigger and a white netflix is installed and if you don't know how to install it we have videos links will be available in the bottom and we always going to have new videos on how you can update it next thing is going to be youtube now this is something really good because this youtube is 2.0 so we will go to this one and we will wait you will be able to see some information. Now this is the one that we're going to click and that way we can see the quality. So when you click on it and the maximum quality that I can see on this is 1080p. I really thought this will show me the 4K video but it is maximum is 1080p. The next thing we want to go through is speed test before we can go into settings and also the Buzz TV app. So yes guys, we have already processed some benchmarkings on this too. And you can see that when you go into 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, we received really good numbers. We got 52.3 and 62.7. Remember that where we are, our internet connection is a gigabit and 30 megabit upload because of Rogers. So you can see that we are exceeding that part for the upload. And when we change the to 5G network, which this one is a Mio Mimo connection, but our router is not Mio Mimo, we received 181 for download. And for the second time, we received 72.6. And but the upload rate was really good. So that means as the Wi Fi works good too. But once we connected via Ethernet, because it is a gigabit LAN, we received 762 for the download. And for the second time we tried, we got 732 for the second time. But our upload rate was exceeding because they're giving us a 30 megabits upload rate. So this is really good that, that how they have set everything up. And if you want to see that what type of fluctuation we're getting, you can see that it doesn't really go that much up and down. And yes, when we're trying to fine to see what type of speed we're getting and remember that where we are and where we connecting to really matters and that's why we're going to get different numbers through this so this is how this part works 
too. I just want to mention that this box have really good connection with the internet when you're trying to connect it. it they really worked on this to make sure that all of the Wi-Fi and also Ethernet do work beautiful. All right, so let's get out of this. And the next thing we want to go to is going to be the Buzz Updater. And this is really good. So if there is anything available, you can click on check for update. It will find it for you and then you will get a pop up for you to submit. Make sure that your automatic update is always on. It really helps you out. So we will get out of that too. The next thing we want to go to is going to be the live view out and educate you how that works. We will make videos for that. Except that share this with your friends and family and links will be available in the bottom where you can order this from. Click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places. And thank you.